I'm starting with a picture of our lightsabers, or, or you have another more creative name for them, but... Uh, uh, I call them space dildos, because if people keep calling them lightsabers, George Lucas is going to sue us. <laughs> Alright, good tip. And uh, this is the uh, fifth or fourth night of uh, Occupy Regina, and there's way more tents here. Uh, their, the atmosphere is uh, positive with people playing uh, sports and uh, with their bikes on the uh, court there. That wasn't happening a few days yeah. ago. And what are your yeah. thoughts on how the movement's going? It's, it has gone phenomenally well here. And when I'm watching the YouTube footage and I'm watching what's going on around the world, it's like even where the police are reacting violently, it's not going away. It's not shrinking like I thought it would. It's not dying out. It's expanding. It's growing. Um, watching this, we thought this might last a week at most. Now we're actually planning for two weeks from now. Uh, which is quite surprising and there's a a new kind of I don't know a new kind of vibe like it's no longer um, uh, against you know what I mean it's not uh, it, it it's no longer uh, against the system it's for democracy and the system just happens to be in the way you know and it's not uh, it's not um, there was a lot of anti at the beginning and I probably was a part of that because I've generally see, felt like an anti-person until, you know, this just kind of watching and the conversations that have gone on between a whole wide variety of different people and the amount of respect that people who totally disagree with each other have shown to each other in those disputes. I, uh, these are, you know, arguments that people would have been at each other's throats where they're not even raising their voices and it's, it, it's something really nice to see. And we've maybe had, we've had like uh, two people here who we call screamers, you know, two people who are opposed who come and, and just stand and yell at people. Um, but even the people who have come by just to, 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 to kind of argue with us have been more or less polite and we've ended up having really positive discussions with them, which is, I guess shouldn't be unexpected, but at the same time is, because there's, there's actually a lot more support for it than we thought there was. Hmm, that's interesting. I, uh, in the last uh, few days I've been talking with people here and with people online and um, even like some of my uh, relatives have been making comments about how they disagree with uh, the protesters and they think they're they might be lazy and should have jobs and, and uh, there's uh, many people here who have jobs who I, are going to getting up in the morning and going to work and then coming back here and, and uh, he actually, included it and uh, I, I pointed that out to them it's this is a uh, a broad ba broad based movement it's not just people with nothing to do sitting around these are dedicated protesters that want to change uh, society whether they have a job yeah. or whether they don't. Because one day protest isn't doing it so this is 24-7 there is literally somebody up and uh, if you come through here at four in the morning there will be somebody up who can sit there and talk about what it's about and debate with somebody because well we have to keep a night watchman to make sure nothing happens but yeah. you know. The, in the news New York's had trouble with petty theft and uh, yeah. in, uh, in the tents even uh, which is uh, worrisome of course but uh, Oh, we got an interloper here. 